Point Weather Super 7-Day Forecast. And it looks like the rain is sticking around for the holiday weekend as a second back-to-back -back storm hits the region. ABC 10 News Pinpoint Weather Anchor Moses Small joining us now. And Moses, you are just bringing down everything we need to know right now. Yeah, yeah absolutely. This storm is continuing to batter us. It's the second one back-to-back. -back. I want to start off by answering the big question, which is when are we going to be done with all this rain? The rain future cast shows we have heavy showers in store for us tonight. More on MLK Day, even more on Tuesday. Then finally, by the time we get to late Tuesday night, then we have a break. But we have a lot of rain to get through before that. Pinpoint Dauber Live shows where these showers are falling right now. We're seeing some really heavy activity right off the coast near Oceanside. North County getting their fair share of showers. There's a lighter shade of green, so some lighter showers happening in the mountains. But really, we're seeing a pretty good spread of rain across the board. We're going to keep seeing that so much so that by the time we are done with all those showers Tuesday night, some of our coastal communities could see an inch and a quarter of rain inland pretty close to two inches mountain communities even more than that so we are seeing lots more wet weather to kick off this new year and to help you plan your day expect those peak showers to start around 9 p.m. that's when we're going to see that really heavy rainfall again that rain's still going to be coming down we're just going to see the most active conditions tonight and we have a couple of watch some warnings to go with all of this stormy weather we have that winter weather advisory that's starting up in the mountains tomorrow this the second storm system is going to be a little bit colder than the first one it's going to drop those snow levels down so we're expecting a little bit of snow to come with that that. And we have a high surf advisory along the coast. That one rolls until Tuesday night at 10 p.m. with those high waves that could reach eight feet tall. And finally, a wind advisory that stretches from the coast right to our mountain communities. And that one starts at midnight and that one expires tomorrow morning at 7. So those rain totals are changing fast. I've been tracking them all weekend. San Diego Airport has officially received an inch of rain as of the latest update at 6 p.m. Carlsbad more than two inches. Escondido almost three. Palmar Mountain nearly six inches. Julian almost four inches of rain. So all of this has had a really positive impact on California's drought. Here's where we were just about a month ago. More than 10 percent of the state covered in this dark red. That's exceptional drought. That's the most severe category. All this other red shows extreme drought and just a short month all the worst of California dry spell has effectively been washed away. Now here at home, we don't see the difference on the U.S. drought monitor. We've been in moderate drought. That's a less severe category, but we still do have a surplus in our water here, so we're taking steps in the right direction. But San Diego right now still feeling dark and feeling stormy in those upper 50s. Humidity 84%. Breeze coming from the southwest at 6 miles per hour. And no matter where you are, we're feeling stormy and feeling a little bit chilly in our inland communities, especially. Escondido and Poway 52 degrees. El Cajon and Kearney Mesa 54. Looking at the coast, we're seeing a spread for the low to mid 50s. San Diego being a little bit higher up. And now let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It shows that literal light at the end of the tunnel. That sun finally starting to break out on Wednesday. But Again, expect lots of wind, lots of rain until then, and then we're going to see dry conditions for the rest of the week. In the community, similar story. We have a little bit of a temperature bump in between Thursday and next weekend, so we'll see lots of that sunshine we're used to in the mountains. Watch out for that snow. That snow level is going to drop to 4,500 feet by Tuesday before we see that dry weather begin and into the desert. Noticing upper 60s dipping into the lower 60s, and next weekend expected to be warmer, and we can finally put these umbrellas away. Right, looking forward to next weekend, definitely. Definitely. Okay.